What's up, my civil? It's your boy Buckmeister, twice the nice that you were used to. Bam! And, uh, the Kevin Hart controversy. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I want to preface this with a couple of things. I only make videos like this when I really feel strongly about a subject or whatever. But, I mean, if you do end up liking this type of thing in this type of series, you guys can make suggestions. I will investigate. If you like hearing my opinion on these certain things and discussions on certain controversies like this, I will investigate thoroughly and all of that stuff. And if I feel if I feel I can talk about the video, I will talk about the video. I'm not just going to make them for the sake of making them. The whole point of this Let's Talk About This series is not to incite controversy, ironically. <laughs> now, the next thing I will say is that I do not speak for a group of people. I do not speak for black people in any way. I do not speak for black men. I do not speak for men in general. I speak for me. Okay? That is just the one. I, this is my opinion, my view, me alone as an entity. You disagree, you agree, whatever, but don't take my arguments unless you're using the facts that are in my arguments and go argue with somebody else. That's how we get that whole, oh, but I have a black friend thing. It's like, no, no, that's not what this is about. Anyway, so here we go. I will say this right now. This controversy to me is, for lack of a better term, stupid. Now, I will give you a few seconds to type your angry comments and tell me how you're offended, how offended you are, if you are even watching this video. Okay, you done? All right. I, okay. If you've clicked away at this point, there was no talking to you to begin with. Okay. So, anyway, for the person that is still here, I just want you to listen to me. Like, see, look, look me in the eye here. Let's just have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> about Kevin Hart. <laughs> and let's 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 just break this down, all right? So one thing I want to say, one thing I want to say. When are we as society going to stop making social advancement based on feelings? When are we going to when are we going to stop making social advancement about feelings? It needs to stop. Feelings are feelings they come they go they're emotions they're it's chemical reactions in the body that come and pass okay they're very fleeting emotions are very very fleeting now here's what i mean by this okay let's take a popular example let's take women fighting for fair rights all right hot button topic okay hot 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 button topic a lot of people feel a certain way right but women is it your job to get your rights or to convince men why you should have your rights in the first place let's let's just break that down for a second tell your like i'm asking you now directly is it your job to convince me of why you should have fair rights or is it your job to get those fair rights? I believe it's option B. <laughs> like, it's not about how men feel. Whether we feel threatened, whether we feel like you're stepping in on our space, whether we feel you're taking our masculinity and emasculating us, our feelings do not factor in this equation, okay? Because here's a scenario for you. A single mom who's got two kids and needs a promotion and is not getting that promotion because of some sexist practices that are at her workplace. She doesn't care how I feel. It's not about my feelings. It's about her getting money so she can take care of her kids and herself. That's all she should be focused on. That's what society needs to be focused on, is the, is the fact that it's not about feelings, it's about the structures that are in place. And we need to change those structures. You're not going to convince the next person 
about their feelings. How somebody feels is how somebody feels, but it does not make their feeling right, sure, but their feelings should not impact the way you fight for rights. Does that make sense? Does that scenario make sense? The single mom doesn't give two dams who the hell I am and how I feel. The single mom cares that men are getting paid more than her and she is doing the same work as them and she needs that money to take care of herself and her family. That's, that's it. How they feel, if their man feels like he's stepping in on boundaries, if the man feels that she should just go get a man, that is inconsequential to what she is going through. She motivates it, she does the work, she shows the work, and she gets the money. That's how it's supposed to be. It is literally, that's point A to point B. Now the problem is, is that there are structures in place, patriarchal, patriarchy based structures in place, all of that stuff, that are denying these women, and they're not, that are denying these women, and that's where the anger needs to go, is that people who are like that, people who are making decisions based on biases, should be kicked out of those structures. The structures themselves must be clean. All the structures must have laws that enforce those people to ignore their biases and do what is right. But how they feel should not matter. Does, does that make sense? Now, to put this in context of this Kevin Hart controversy thing, Kevin Hart made jokes and people feel offended. Okay? That's, that's how they feel. You know, they feel offended. Right? Now, again, is Kevin Hart advocating for discrimination against gay people? Is Kevin Hart, you know, and I mean, even if he is again, yeah, you can hold him, like, even if he is again, yeah, okay, sure, you can tell him not to advocate for those things. You can say don't advocate for those things, but again, at the end of the day, the structures that are inside the country should be in place to protect anybody regardless of their sexual orientation. The structure should be in place to stop people from doing certain things and punish people who do those things based on their bias indiscriminately, okay? That's the point. The point is of a fair society that everybody gets a fair shake. But that's it. It should not be based on how people feel. He should not be able to affect another person's life just because he made somebody feel a certain type of way you know what i'm saying so the thing is for me with this controversy is that again now we're doing this thing of where we have to convince homophobes and we're doing this thing of where we have to tell homophobes what they think is wrong and what a what a what a what a what a like you and now we're branding kevin hart as a homophobe and the, like okay i'm just like okay look Fine, have your outrages, you're entitled to your outrage, that is fine. But you're not, it's not about jokes, it's not about what somebody says, it's about action, okay? You're not an activist unless you take action. That's what active, you gotta be active. And being active ain't tweeting online or stopping a dude from hosting the Oscars, okay? Like... And that's the and I mean and that's the other thing, all right, is that look, what he said about his son, whatever, how you feel about that, I uh, again don't care, okay. Society should have structures in place to help said son, if said son is going through said thing where he is discovering his sexuality and his father is not accepting of it. Society should have structures in place, but again. You, your job is not to convince the father to feel different. That's not the thing. Your job is not to convince the dad to feel like he must accept his son. That's his feelings. That's, that's local to him. You being outraged about his feelings. You're not helping the son. Okay? If there's structures to take care of the son in said society, then that's fine. A, the son will be okay 
at least economically, regardless of how the dad feels. Do you get what I'm saying with this thing? Is that a lot of people are saying, I feel outraged about what he said. I feel this. I feel that. I feel that. If we make it about these social things, if we keep making it a social thing instead of a society structural thing, we're never going to fix the issue because we're always trying to convince people of feelings. Like, we're always trying to convince people of feelings before we actually fix the, f the structures, okay? So, again, I'm just saying to, to, to gay people, all right? He ain't affecting structures of society, all right? He's not taking money out of a gay person's mouth. He's not denying a gay person entry into his show. He's, you know, he's not like, he's not like, you know, he's, he's not stomping on gay people's rights with this thing, all right? Your rights are totally unaffected. It's a joke, okay? And even if it's not a joke, he can say it, but as long as it doesn't affect your personal standing, you'll be okay, okay? If anything, if somebody does incite that type of violence, and they act on it, and the systems don't punish the people, your job is not to convince the people. Your job is to make the system do its job, okay? Because remember, it's a system, all right? To give you some a metaphor of a system... A computer, okay? A computer. Operating system, right? It's a system. As long as you have the password, you can be used the computer, right? The computer doesn't go, oh no, he's a black dude. I'm not going to allow him to use me. Oh no, she's a feminist. I'm not going to allow her to use me. The computer's a computer. You type, you click, the computer's a computer. As long as you have the password, as long as you have the access rights, the computer is a computer, correct? That's the way the system needs to be. The system is the system. Like now, it's not a system. It's a system based off of bias, and that's what we need to focus on. And if there's systems out there that are doing that to gay people, that's what you need to focus on. But getting mad at Kevin Hart for a joke he made eight years ago? I don't see how you're being an activist. <laughs> And by making him apologize, I still don't see how you're being an activist. Kevin Hart apologized. Are all the problems of gay people now solved all over the world? Like all that stuff that was happening in the, in, uh, geez, in, uh, where was it now? Yeah, all that stuff that was happening in Zimbabwe where gay people were getting killed and all of that stuff. Like, that's all gone now. Like, poof, you made Kevin Hart apologize. You stopped him from hosting the Oscars. You are either an amazing gay activist or you are an ally to the gay community. Really? Really? Again, social advancement should not be based on feelings. You get what I'm saying? Social advancement... The advancement of society, society being what it is, should not be based off of feelings. It's continuously based off of feelings and it continuously screws and ruins any type of advancement that needs to happen. Okay? I'll do you one better. As a black man, myself, alone, okay, this is just me. As a black man, myself, I am more offended when a black dude cannot find work than I am about the n-word said by a white by a white person think about that when a white dude when a black dude is denied economic activity when he has all of the credentials okay because some white person feels he should be denied that's a problem and the problem there is not changing the white dude's feelings the problem is changing the structure that allows this white dude to make to make changes based off of his feelings. Okay? Do you, do you, do you see what I'm doing there? Alright? All I'm saying is, is that us advancing as a society should be based on solid, fair, 
unbiased, emotionless structures that only support the facts. Okay? You attacking Kevin Hart does not solve all the problems of gay people out there. That's not... Kevin Hart is not the issue. Do you, do you, do you see where I'm coming from here? Alright? You... Telling men that they're... Like, telling men that they're pigs and all of that stuff and that they should feel more for women, that doesn't help the women's cause because it's not based off of a man's feelings. Do you get what I'm saying here? Okay? I'll even give you another example pertaining to me. I made a video about Black Panther. There was a dude on the internet, Red Pill, he made a video, and I felt, yes, me who's disregarding feelings right now, I felt that he was talking nonsense, bullshit, that's what I felt, okay? So what did I do? I made a video, right? Now YouTube, the system, YouTube, the system YouTube, right? This platform, okay? It posted both our videos. His video berating Black Panther, my video defending Black Panther. It posted both videos. Both videos got views, okay? Regardless of how me or Red Pill felt about each other, both videos got views, right? And I was called all sorts of niggas and coons and, and what what's and what what's and what what's. But again, and baboons, uh, yeah, I was every, I was every racial slur in the sun. These, these, some of them even got creative. I had to laugh at some of them. You raccoon, baboon, sand, Nick, like geez, okay. But anyway, my point being is that both videos got posted, right? And these dudes who were leaving these nasty comments could not affect my life in any other way besides disliking my video, which. I can watch or not watch. Do you see what I'm saying here? This isn't about feelings. It's about making the system. It's about making the system take care of everybody the same despite how people feel. Okay? And attacking Kevin Hart does not change the way the system feels about gay people. Making Kevin Hart not host the Oscars because of a gay joke or a, a supposed homophobic joke does not help the the other gay men who's struggling to get accepted or not or not even accepted because even then I don't like you know that's my point is that if if he can work you know if he can live if he can have his family if he can marry the guy that he wants to marry despite how everybody feels if this girl can go get a sex change to be a man and still go get work and still go to be the go to the bathroom and still get decent service despite how everybody feels that's what the system is supposed to be okay the system should not care about who you are the system should take care of you because you are a part of this like the system should just take care of you fairly it should treat you just like it treats a white heterosexual male that's it okay that it's not about i must make this white heterosexual male feel my struggle no whether he feels it or not the system should take care of you that's it the thing that makes me mad about this thing is that we're confusing we're confusing we're confusing this whole thing of social advancement and how it should work. Changing how another person feels is not, the, is not the fight. That's not the fight. Taking those people who feel those type of things out of the system and replacing them with people who are impartial or making laws that force people who have those biases to be impartial. That is the fight, okay? That's what you need to be fighting for, regardless of what the struggle is, alright? That should be the fight. Like, let's not, let's not prioritize feelings over structural change. Global warming does not care about feelings. It's happening. 
whether you feel it's happening or you don't feel it's happening it's happening okay and we should be making steps structural steps structural entities should be in place to help us manage curb back and stop these things from happening the law needs to needs the laws need to be rewritten all right facts have no emotions facts have no bias facts are facts and facts are what should be used in law and in these debates and in these arguments fact kevin hart ain't stop a gay person from working fact kevin hart ain't ain't in sight like comedy shows and restaurants and to discriminate against gays okay fact stopping kevin hart from hosting the oscars does not make as big an impact as you think it does okay there's still gonna be a dude who says the f word f you know there's still gonna be dude that says the whole the whole shebang there's still gonna be out there all right so again your job when you're being an activist for whether it's women black people gay people asian asian people whatever your your whatever your struggle that you're being an activist for your job is not to change how people feel your job is to put structures in place so that you and the people that are going through that struggle with you can be able to live regardless of how people feel ah jeez thing i went on a rant <laughs> yeah but anyway and I'm going to do this, unfortunately for myself, because it's probably just going to hurt me, but I'm going to leave the comment section open. Let's talk about it. If you feel I'm wrong, tell me why. If you feel that I'm right, please elaborate. But again, don't make it about feelings. Make it about structural, 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 structural change. Structures in society, okay? Kevin Hart is just a man, a rich man, a rich man. He's not a structure in society, okay? Don't confuse Kevin Hart for being a structure in society. That's all I'm saying, all right? So again, yeah, I'm leaving the comment section open. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, whatever, whatever. And if you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe. If you did not, that is your business. And I'll see you all in another video because Master Man's got to be out. Peace.